explaining the blue arrows. This is part of the new expert series. First, let me identify for you where uh, we find the blue arrows. The idea of um, training you or explaining how the blue arrows work. So we have it in the contact list and we have it also in the dispute center. But also it might be possible that uh, you find the blue arrows in other places and all of them work the same. So we have it here and then in a, in a second I'll show you uh, the same thing but in a different in a different um, layout, which is the dispute center. So what they do, the blue arrows, you see in the tooltip, you see that depending if you use uh, other um, additional modifier keys, that is the correct name, but if you use, for example, we shift, um, it's gonna act differently than if I click without shift or if I click with shift control, or if I click with shift control alt, okay? But uh, in a basic mode, so to speak, I can simply click on it and whatever I have at the left is gonna be selected from all records. So if I click here, it's gonna be, I'm gonna select all the records that have lead, right? And if I click here, I'm gonna select all the records that have status two and in the status two that I have plan A. So I'm gonna click here for a second. So I have only one. Okay, so I have only one, not too exciting. If I click here in active clients, I'm gonna select all active clients. So this is the default functionality, the same thing with the group here. So I have real estate here. If I click, boom, uh, I have all real estate in the group. Uh, it's pretty um, easy to manage the data uh, doing things like this. Now, for example, uh, let's say that I have selected all this real estate. Well, that can serve me uh, to send, for example, a particular marketing email to this group or something. Uh, that is not the point of the of this explanation the point is that you know how to use these tools the tool in this case is the um, the blue arrow and then based on what you need to do you're going to use it uh, you're, I'm, I'm going to explain eventually in other videos i'm going to explain other tools uh, in the program which more or, more or less uh, uh, or some of them uh, or majority of them are unique uh, not being used in any other uh, product. So anyway, um, so here now, for example, let's say that I don't want to send from this real estate, I don't want the leads, okay? So in this case, while I could use select contacts again, I'm going a little bit on a tangent, I could use select contacts and omit this one, I can do it directly which is the power of this. How to do it directly? Well, you can see that by clicking shift control, is the number three in the tooltip, right? To click shift control, I can omit everything that is at the left. So I'm gonna click shift control. And what I find is this one. Okay, uh, now, uh, for example, if I click in the active clients, if you remember, first time I said that if you click with uh, nothing, pretty much just click, it's going to find all the active clients. But if I want to find all the active clients uh, from the selected group, I'm going to find exactly the same. So it's not easy to visualize, but I'm going to do it so you can see it. And I'm going to do it this way. First of all, I'm going to click again the real estate so i have one more the one that we just omitted correct and now i'm gonna uh, select the active clients by clicking with shift but from select the record so i have these six records or six con contacts but they are records at the end so i'm gonna click with shift 
I'm just going to select only the aptic line. So I did exactly the same result, right, that I did when I omitted the other one. Same result because I selected the aptic lines from selected records and it's exactly the same as omitting the, o the other one, correct? Um, what else do we have here? Expand. Well, in this case, expand uh, means that I'm going to add to the selected uh, group. So I can, for example, uh, if I click Shift, Control, Alt, let's say in Facebook here, assuming that I have another one with Facebook, is going to add those Facebook, Facebook despite of whatever we have selected to in addition to these five. Okay, so now I click Shift, Control, Alt, and you always have, you know, you are just uh, one hover away to know the font. You don't need to memorize it, but you will eventually. So um, I think they didn't click actually. Maybe I don't have any other. Let's see if I have any with Prospect. No, I don't have any. Well, in this case, I don't have any. Uh, but, but if I if I had uh, that, I could do it with the real estate and click Shift Control Alt, and then I will um, I will have the same result. So Shift Control Alt will produce the same. Uh, it will add this one because I'm adding all the real estate to the selected group, which was five. I'm going to go to the dispute, um, dispute um, center now and uh, show you uh, uh, same thing, that the, how to, to apply what we have learned uh, to, the, to the dispute center. So let me see. I'm going to select all records here, and maybe I have this one that I want to use. So I'm going to go to the dispute center. Notice in the Dispute Center that you see Dispute Center. I, I clicked actually, in case that you didn't notice, I clicked the red gavel to go to the Dispute Center. Um, so that we don't see any blue arrows. And that is because all the icons that we have here are hidden at the moment to make the screen very, very clean. Uh, now, if I click this, Show and Hide Icons, I'm going to show several blue icons, uh, blue arrows, one, two, three, four, and five. The important, uh, maybe maybe there is another one, no, uh, only five, so we have five. But the important thing is that the functionality is exactly the same with uh, any uh, of these, um, of these uh, blue arrows. In other words, if I click, for example, here, uh, I will select all the ones. If I click just plain, I will select all the ones with status no change. If I click, if I want to select all the uh, derogatory items from Experian, I only need to click this one, and that will do it. You see, now I have everything. Now, if I want to select the ones to do from Experian only, I will click this blue arrow or this one or this one or this one or any of those that have at the left to do. I will click with shift because remember, shift with, with a wheel also select, but from the selected group, meaning in the selected group was all the one from uh, Experian, and so on and so forth. So if I want to do the collections from Experian only, I could click Collection, for example, uh, with, uh, with a shift here. And if I want to select all collections, I will click without the shift. So um, I'm going to click with shift. So I have collections experience to do. And I achieved that, which could be uh, practically impossible with any other software. So I, I with only three clicks, 
I was able to select all the experience to do and collection. You don't need to do it in that order also. If I, if I want to uh, achieve the same, I could do uh, first all the to-dos, for example, could be a way, and then a filter or, um, or uh, um, no, no omit, but select from the group to-dos, the one in experience and then the collections or vice versa. Select the collections first and then select the experience. That's why learning the functionality of the tool is so important. It's not, uh, in this particular case, is unlimited cases where you can use this functionality. It only depends on uh, what you need to do. Also, here we have this uh, blue arrow in the, in the check boxes here, right? Which of course means that if I click, uh, let's say that I want to omit these three in this case. So these three in particular, I want to omit, or maybe I'm gonna omit these only two because they don't have address, okay? So, uh, I mean, if, if I'm sending to the to the credit, I don't want to confuse you with that, but, uh, but I wanna omit these two and I can click with shift control, if you remember, otherwise is right there. Okay, so now all of these have uh, addresses. You know, the blue and greens have addresses. And the tooltip tells you that. Uh, also, the ones at the top, and even though it's not a blue arrow, of course, but these at the top for the columns can do pretty much same functionality, functionality as the blue arrows. And in the sense, uh, you can see, you can select from all, select from displayed, in this case, have additional functionality, mark on mark, uh, omit, or omit on mark, or, or delete even, which of course is not one of the options in the blue arrows, okay? But uh, the important, important thing, again, because this is an expert series where I'm going to uh, teach many tools in the system so you can do whatever you want. You are able to think, I wanna do this, and then you will be able to do it. Okay, so uh, that's, I think is, is enough. You understand uh, everything. And then you can, if you want, after you do your selection, etc., as per your intentions, you can click again the show hide icons to simply clear up the screen and make it more uh, you know, appealing to the eye. That's all. So thank you and enjoy.